Hey guys, this is a Fuego Master, and uh, today I'll be doing another how to make. And yeah, so basically I haven't done a how to make in a very long time. So basically today I'll be showing you how to make this uh, Lego Star Wars turret. Um, so yeah, so it has an ammo chain. Uh, it has some designs. It has a handle so you can hold on. It has a you know, it can spin all the way 360 degrees. So, yep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. So, yep. Yeah. First, I'm just going to separate this. If I can. First, uh, you're going to need one of these robot pieces. So, yeah. You're going to need one of that. And you're going to need one of these little plates. Like if you were to put it on top of a minifigure hat. I mean a minifigure. Like head or something. So it's just like for the base. And for you're going to need one of these little studs. Any kind of stud. doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be this certain color. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> next you're going to need one of these pieces. And I said, as I said before, it doesn't need to be this color. It can be any color. Depends which, which one you have. So, you're going to need one of these pieces. I don't know what the name of that is. Um, you're going to need one Lego hand. Uh, you're going to need one of these. I guess you can take a Brick Arms U-Clip or something. Or a Monopod or something. Like, something that can, like, you know, hold... Like can grip onto like a pole, a Lego pole. Um, next, you're gonna need one of these things. Um, one of these one by one studs with a little like grip. Um, next, you're gonna need two. Um, uh, what are these? Uh, light blue pieces. Um, you're gonna need two of those. Um, next you're gonna need one of these little things that you, like, it's basically, um, a flat 2 by one um, but with this little grip thing, so, yeah, you're gonna need one of those, and you're gonna also need two tiles, two one by one flat tiles. Uh, have one plain one and another another one with the design. It really doesn't matter. You can have like two of these plain ones. And yeah. Um, next you're gonna need uh, one of these uh, handlebars. Uh, so yeah. Um, you're gonna also need one of these pieces. Uh, hold on. We're gonna need one of these pieces with studs all over it. So yeah, and lastly, you're gonna need one of these like grip bars or something. Um. So yeah, first off, you're gonna I'm gonna start by the base. You're gonna take this uh bar, this little grip thingy, and uh, the stud and the plate thing. And just take the bottom, just take the stud and attach it to the bottom of this plate. So it's like that. And then next you're going to take this uh, little, uh, I guess you can say a uh, crowbar or something. And just like stick it like inside. So it's like this. Um... So that's the first part. Next, uh, you're gonna take this black, the one by one, uh, little piece with the little grip, and you're gonna take it and just clip it on like the little crowbar. So it's like this. So this stud is facing to the left. Um, so yeah. And next, you're gonna take this piece with the studs all over it, and just make sure you like attach it 
So at the bottom of it is that this square. It doesn't have any um studs in it. If you don't do that, you're probably gonna make um this turn wrong. It's probably not gonna work either. Um. So yeah. And next, you're gonna take uh a little uh I guess handlebars and just like attach it to like the back of this of the piece with all studs on it. So like this. And then next, you're going to take the tiles, you're going to take, if you have a design one, um, that's great, but if you don't, just put the design one right there on the side, and you're going to take the ne the other tile and just put it on the top, so it's like covering up those studs, so yeah, so so far you have this, um, and next, you're going to take Somewhere here. You're gonna take uh, this little piece, the two by one flat tile with this little grip, and then put the two studs on, like like this. And you're gonna take this piece, this little crowbar, I guess, or handlebar, whatever you want to call it. You just stick it through the last remaining like little hole. So it's like this, and next you're just going to take this one and just clip it on, so it's like an ammo chain, like uh, any brick arms, ammo chain or anything, so yeah, um, yeah next you're going to work on the, I'm going to show you how to make the, what is that, the actual gun, the, like the, like the stock or something um yeah so first you're just gonna take this piece and just stick it down like the front of the black piece so it's like this and next you're gonna take uh, this black hand you're just gonna like clip it on the nozzle of this uh what is that um, like the front of the gun, the turret. And lastly, you're just gonna take this little monopod thing and just like, if we can do it. Okay, and you're just gonna put it, clip it to the bottom of the gun, of the nozzle, and second, uh, okay. Yeah, you just want to clip it and turn it around so it's facing the gun. So, yeah. And there you got your LEGO Star Wars turn um, on my custom design. And here's how it looks like on a mini fridge. Let me just make sure. Okay, so here's how it looks like on a mini fig. It, it looks like just like um any regular World War II mini guns or anything. Like a... Browning or something, Star Wars actually, so, yep, so this can go, it can turn all the way around, and it can shoot in any way, it can, you can go up and down, and yeah, so, basically this is just a clone pilot, I couldn't find any other, you know, clone troopers to dis display, it doesn't really matter though, uh, so yeah, so here's my, custom made turret like a star wars turret and if you guys haven't realized uh well this is my new mock i'm working on it's basically a uh, clone wars base so yeah um so if you guys have any contest or anything uh that you are like hosting um feel free to like leave a comment and it might um, enter, and I'll do a whole in-depth video of the mock, but right now it's not finished yet. I still have to, you know, add some details and, you know, put some more detail parts. And I guarantee you guys that this term will probably be in the mock. So you can see the way how it demolishes the droids. So yeah. That's cool. 
So, um, basically it's just a Flago Master, and this video is way too long for how to make. And, uh, I'll see you later, guys.